Jeff, I wanted to the Route 66 car show Saturday. People got mad because I was driving around the route with the ice cream music on and not selling ice cream. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got to tell you guys this story real quick to start out the stream. Speaking of the ice cream truck drag van one, my little brother Liam pulled off a spectacular feat for the physical abilities of the human being. The ice cream truck starts driving by. And I heard it off in the distance at first. And this little shit goes, I mean, he might have ran the fastest any human being has ever ran the history of the earth. The time it took him to get from our front door to that damn ice cream truck was like faster than the speed of light. He had a soccer game this past week, two of them, and he didn't run anywhere near as fast during those games when he was running his ass over to the ice cream truck to get some ice cream. He didn't even have any money with him. He made some other sorry person pay for the ice cream for him, but his ass ran over there as fast as I have ever seen a human being run just to, <laughs> just to get some ice cream. Dave Diesel Sim, let's go four or five show coming soon. Yeah, hey, hopefully it'll be up after Memphis. I'm uh, not after Memphis, after uh, No Prep Kings. But I, I mean, honestly, I think we'll see Fastest in America season two, then Street Outlaws 405, then Street Outlaws America's List, or something that might happen is similar to how we saw Mega two hours of Mega Cash Days in one hour of the 405 in the same night. We might see two hours of Fastest in America Season 3, then one hour of the 405 show for the times or the next like season after Street Outlaws, No Prep Kings. Because, I mean, with the amount they're filming, I don't see them... I don't see them dragging it out that much. Because they've really been doing a good job recently of keeping it as close to real time as possible with a lot of these shows. And if they were to give Fastest in America its own thing, the 4 or 5 its own thing, that would drag stuff out a lot more, like almost a whole nother 30 weeks until we see the next season of uh, America's List. And I know that's not filmed yet, but still, that just seems like a long time. And I know for a fact they're not doing that grudge night that like or not grudge night grudge episode of fastest in america for this season so actually that might be what happens we might see an hour of the four or five show then after that we see two hours of street dollars fastest in america similar to how we saw the four or five and mega cash is last time the four or five was on tv and look we thought of that right there on the fly i gotta put that in the stream highlights that's a, that might like i really think that that might happen sunday's episode of no prep news did phenomenal Views, likes, comments, unreal compared to the past couple of videos I had. For the past month, I would say that's the best video I've had. And this is just how weird YouTube is. That video, I honestly just threw together. I woke up Sunday morning. I was doing homework and stuff all weekend. I didn't really have anything to talk about. There wasn't any news to talk about. I saw that people were discussing the whole testing rule and people should get DQ'd, shouldn't get DQ'd on social media all week. It's so like, you know what? I'll briefly discuss that in this episode of No Prep News. I'll discuss the winner of this most recent No Prep Kings race, and that'll be that. I genuinely feel like that was my worst video I've made in the entire past month. Although that was by far my best video analytic-wise in the past month. That's just <laughs> that's just how weird YouTube is, man. Like anything could just click like with the YouTube side of it and do really good. Then just some videos that just do like, I mean, I'm, I don't complain how videos do. Most of my videos just do average, and I'm perfectly cool with that. Although I just find it, like, I thought it was, so, uh, I felt so bad because I'm like, I the video, I just felt like it wasn't a good video to how I normally like how my videos to be in terms of, like, the information stuff, the content of the video. I just felt like it was, it was lacking a bit. And, of course, that was the one video that did really good. Just my luck. Everyone Now everyone's going to think I look like a fool. Yeah, Tim Shandler, that's the thing. People complain about how all these other shows aren't as good as, show y isn't as good as show x but the thing is we have street outlaw content year round now we used to only have where we had 12 weeks out of the year we had street outlaws content we have every single monday there is a new episode of street outlaws for the entire year except occasionally between shows there's like a gap week but even now they're just running right into the next show there's not even those gap weeks anymore so that's what i'm just happiest about and i brought this up in the discussion video i did where i was talking about what will happen after Street Outlaws is over. I said, I kept saying, unfortunately, we only see big tire street racing on the 405 show. And I don't mean that in a negative way. Like, because how we see it is so good and just 
The fact that we have street racing on TV year round every Monday night, and even now it's up to three hours every Monday night, it's just so cool to see. Draven One, did I hear this right? Next week is the premiere of No Prep Kings, a two night event Monday and Tuesday. Are you serious? Hold on a minute. I'm going to look this up. So it'll be Monday, October 11th. No way. Okay, Monday, October 11th, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Get me in Central time. Why do you... Discovery Channel. Central Standard Time. No one cares about Eastern Pacific. This word standard is in the name. Have that be the standard for your TV schedule on your app. Website, whatever the hell this is. Okay, Street Outlaws, No Prep Kings. So, 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. are No Prep Kings opening day, Hebron, Ohio. Then from the 9 to 10 is 2000 No Prep Kings, No Prep Kings Team Attack. So, the Team Attack show is going to be its own race or its own episode. And then it says for 7 p.m., on Tuesday, No Prep Kings episode 21. I don't know what episode 20. Their Discovery Channel, Pilgrim Studios, they're, they do not know how to format the episode numbers for their shows. Because even when you go on Discovery Go, you try and you look at like Street Outlaws, the seasons, they'll throw in like episodes of Memphis for the season of just Street Outlaws. Two nights? That's going to be huge. And if they're doing it two nights a week, they're going to run through this season so fast. It does appear that we're going to be seeing new episodes of Street Outlaws No Prep Kings Monday and Tuesday nights. There's going to be a two-hour episode of the actual race, then an hour-long episode of the team attack race. So if they're doing two races a week, that'll only be about, we'll, we'll guess, seven to eight weeks long. Or they do it the full time and it's, 16 weeks long. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see for next week if there's really going to be two new episodes of Street Outlaws a week on Monday and Tuesday, two different nights. I'll be interested to see what happens with that. New video going up tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central, and we have a surprise guest or two. Any guess who it is? I have no idea. They got a special guest. And ladies and gentlemen, for all those wondering, there will be a new video on the Midwest Street Coast YouTube channel from Chief and Jackie tomorrow night but by the time you guys are seeing this with the stream highlights it will be tonight at 7 p.m central standard time last week there was no new video from them you guys had a rerun week last week from midwest streetcars and it was the sandy sex yz interview with jackie go check that out if you guys still haven't watched it but last week you had the rerun this week we got the new content from midwest streetcars with the new youtube video hank the tree man the reality is there will never be another chief and sean show like back in the day Ladies and gentlemen, I'll bring you guys an episode of the Chief and Sean show one day. I'll bring you guys a new episode one day. Don't you worry. Because I th think their last episode was episode 49. I'll bring that episode 50. Unless they're doing it already on their own. But if they don't do it on their own, if Chief and Sean don't make the Chief and Sean show episode number 50 by themselves, Sammy XYZ will be the one that brings it to you all. I can promise you that. That could be the thumbnail and title of this stream highlights. The return of the Chief and Sean show. Sammy Sex YZ bringing it back. Could you guys imagine how crazy that would be? You know what I've thought of? Doing a thing where I schedule an interview with both of them at the same time. And they don't know it. Then they get in the same Zoom call and then they're both there. But the thing is, I don't know if I, that pissed them off. I don't want to make them mad. So I w I'm not doing something like that. One day. I already made the video with Chief. Gotta make one with just Sean. Then, then eventually... Pretty sure Discovery made them quit. Well, Sammy Sex YZ will make them return. Discovery makes content for TV. Sammy Sex YZ makes content for the people. 